page welcome back to my channel so as you can probably see from the title of this video i have a pretty big update to share with you guys today but before I get into it, I definitely want to do a little plug right now. A couple of weeks ago, I released my first ebook through my wellness platform, Bloom Village. The ebook is called Creating the Life of My Dreams, and it basically gives you a first-hand look at my transition from stagnancy and unfulfillment, feeling super stuck in my career, to now living in London, thriving, and working for myself as an entrepreneur. If you know me, then you know that I am a big journaler. Therefore, I decided to include my own personal journal entries in this ebook so that you guys can really see where my mind was during that time. I wanted to allow myself to be completely vulnerable and open because I know that there are so many people out there who can relate, whether you recently graduated from university or you're a few years into your career and you're just feeling lost and confused. Maybe you're unsure if you made the right career path choice or you're feeling really stuck in your position and like there's no way to level up at your company. I've been there y'all. I've dealt with all of those emotions and though it's tough, you can come out on the other side. You do not have to be stuck forever. And that's exactly why I wanted to create and share this ebook with you all to provide some hope and motivation for those who are feeling exactly how I was just a couple of years ago. I also included journal questions after each chapter so that you can answer them and reflect on your own journey. This ebook is not just for people who are thinking of moving abroad, but it's for anyone who is trying to figure out that next step in their career journey, in their life journey, wherever you are. If you would like to purchase the Creating the Life of My Dreams ebook, I will definitely leave the link below in the description box. I have received so many lovely messages from those of you who have already purchased and read the ebook, and it honestly just warms my heart so much. Some of you have said that you cried while reading it, <laughs> and that's okay because I cried while I was writing it. <laughs> Y'all, it gets real, it's very honest, it's transparent, and I just hope that you love it. Thank you so much for supporting me as I try to support you. Okay guys, so let's get into this big update announcement, shall we? <laughs> so if you're new to my channel or just need a brief recap, I moved to London in January 2019 to pursue my master's degree in strategic marketing at the University of Greenwich. As I was completing my studies and trying to figure out what was next for me, I decided to take part in the Enterprise Challenge at my university, which is for aspiring entrepreneurs. To take part in the competition, I had to come up with an original business idea. And that is exactly how my wellness platform, Bloom Village, came to life. After completing the competition, I then went on to apply for the UK startup visa. If you guys are interested, I will be happy to make a video all about the UK startup visa process. So if you'd like to hear more about that, let me know in the comments. It was a really stressful process because getting that visa determined whether I would be able to stay in London for an additional two years or if I would be returning home back to the States. But luckily the Lord heard my prayers because I received the visa in July of 2020. I was so excited, so grateful. If you've been subscribed for a while, then you've probably seen my reaction video of me finding out that I was going to be staying in London. It was a very emotional day, that's all I can say. So from that point forward, I was able to live and work in London as an entrepreneur working on this business idea. But of course, there's always some unexpected curveball that comes at you. And I had to balance developing my first business with a global pandemic. Like anyone else, 2020 was a super difficult year for me. I had many highs and many lows. There were times where I felt super motivated and there were times where I didn't feel motivated at all. But I kept pushing and I launched Bloom Village at the beginning of 2021. And once again, I am so appreciative of those who have already supported and joined the Bloom Village community. Whether you've simply followed our social media accounts, whether you purchased an ebook or wrote a blog post for us, I am so thankful for you. But of course, the pandemic did slow me down a lot. Being on lockdown for what feels like majority of the year really just impacted everything. The first year of my startup visa kind of feels like it was just snatched away from me. I don't know about y'all, but it honestly feels like 2020 is a complete blur. There are still so many things that I want to do with Bloom Village. There are so many plans that I have for Bloom Village. And I was starting to become very stressed about how I was going to do all of it in one year. Another year that has still been filled with a lot of uncertainty. It is already May and London is just starting to ease out of our lockdown. 
So you can only imagine the sigh of relief that I let out when my university sent out an email letting us know that there would be an opportunity to apply for the UK startup visa COVID-19 extension. Now this extension was by no means guaranteed. We would have to fill out a pretty lengthy application just as we did when we were first applying for the visa. And because my business was so new, I wasn't sure if they would consider me for the extension. But y'all, I have become a firm believer of you will never know if you don't try. So I poured my heart out into that application. I explained all of my plans. I explained my vision for Bloom Village and just why I believed having a 12 month extension would really benefit my business. All I could do was try and hope that my university would believe in me like I believe in me, like my mama believes in me. <laughs> All I could do was try. And y'all, when I received that email saying that I made it to the next round and that I will be having a virtual interview, my heart was about to beat out of my chest. I was feeling so nervous, so excited. Whew. I knew that I was so close to getting another chance and I just, I wanted it so bad y'all, I wanted it so bad. So my interview was scheduled for back in March. I was so nervous, like honestly, I think I forgot my name. <laughs> so after ending that interview, around 15 minutes later, I received an email saying, drum roll please, <laughs> I got the extension, yay. <laughs> I don't even think I can explain through words how excited and relieved I feel. So I have received an endorsement for another 12 month extension on my visa, meaning that I will be allowed to stay in the UK until the summer of 2023. I know my parents and some of my friends are probably sad that I will be staying in the UK for <laughs> even longer, um, but it just feels right guys. And when you know, you know. I still feel like I have so much left to do here in London and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be able to do that. I have been doing my best to just embrace the moment and embrace each day that I have been here and I'm so grateful for the time that I've spent so far but it really 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 feels amazing to know that I have been blessed with more time. So your girl will be in London for at least another two years or so now and I'm feeling really 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 good about it and for what's to come. There are so many of you who have stuck with me since I first arrived in London and have continued to watch my vlogs and support my channel and my platform and it just means the world to me. <laughs> I just feel like I can't say thank you enough to you guys. I have so many big plans in the making and I hope that you guys will continue to join me throughout this journey as I create the life of my dreams. And that's pretty much it guys. <laughs> as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you're as excited as I am that I'll be staying in London even longer, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.